legislative for 1918 general election, we see very little impact. Uh, women make up 40% of the electorate in 1918, and women are given the right to stand as representatives as well as to vote, but they're only given that right several weeks before the election is actually called. And so you have 17 female candidates standing in 1918, only one wins a parliamentary seat, and that's in Ireland, uh, Countess Markovic, who is a Sinn Féiner. Being a Sinn Féiner, this means that Countess Markovic doesn't actually take up her seat in Parliament, as, as is consistent with all of the, the Sinn Féin position, indeed, to this day. So Emmeline and Christabel Pankhurst decide to form the Women's Party to as a specifically female-only political party. Christabel Pankhurst stands on that ticket in Smethwick, uh, which is an industrial, largely working-class constituency in the Midlands. And Christabel Pankhurst is defeated by quite a slender majority, 775 votes. What's so interesting is none of this pioneering generation of female suffrage activists actually gets elected to Parliament. Um, the first female MP is to actually take her seat in Parliament is Nancy Astor, uh, who is a Conservative. She takes her seat in November 1919. And the second uh, female MP to take a seat was a woman called Margaret Wintringham. She's a Liberal MP. She uh, is elected at a by-election for Louth in Lincolnshire in 1921. Mrs Pankhurst, Emmeline Pankhurst, is actually a Conservative candidate at the time of her death in 1928. She'd become rather disillusioned with socialism during the war, during her uh, visit to Bolshevik Russia, for instance. Um, and some of the anti-suffrage campaigners actually are also quite keen to get involved in political life. So Violet Markham, who was a leading anti-suffrage campaigner, is a candidate in 1918 for the Liberal Party in Mansfield. But on the whole, 1918 rather represents the passing of a new generation of torch, if you like, and there's a new generation of women who, who slowly emerge in the interwar period to take on the cause um, of, 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 of women's rights in Britain.